Hi guys. We're car camping at a Walmart tonight. <laughs> it's like white out snowstorm, so that's gonna be fun. I've been experiencing some burnout, like pretty bad burnout, because I've been working myself to the ground, <laughs> okay? Pre-filming, which um, I'm not complaining about. I'm happy to do it, and I'm excited about all the content I'm getting and stuff, but I'm, I'm feeling a little burnt out. So I figured while I'm car camping at the glorious Wally World tonight, I'm gonna try to make it as luxe as absolutely possible. Can you pamper yourself while car camping in a snowstorm at Walmart? We're gonna find out. Well, the night is already not going to plan, but oh well, we're still gonna make the best of it. I had planned to originally, oh, I cannot see a thing, honey. I had originally planned to make a super bougie dinner as a part of this luxury night I'm trying to give myself to counteract this burnout, but they're out of butane in Walmart. I think they're out of butane. They only have jet boil fuel. So that means I can't cook, which kind of ruins my dinner plans. And I'm out of butane for my stove, so I can't really cook anything. So we're just gonna have to do a, make a camper meal. Okay, let's get parked. Dinner time, kid. Come on. Go potty, bub. You're getting all snowy, bub. Go play while you have the chance, kid. Whoa! Blue loves the snow. Like, that is a snow dog. So this is kind of his element. Right, kid? Yeah! I'm gonna see if I can't find a ball. Just for a minute. Ha <laughs> Blue, <laughs> I just threw it. Oh, it's boiling crap. Oh, he found it anyway. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh my gosh, I haven't even told you guys what we're making for our luxury camp dinner. Camper meal, biscuits, and gravy. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Wow, kid, you are fast. I quickly need to read these instructions. One and a half cups. Okay. Oh, there's people doing donuts in the parking lot. If Rue wasn't all wheel drive, I'd join. <laughs> Man, everybody is like out here playing in the snow. I don't know what it is about these camper meals, but they are like, do not come seasoned. I gotta let this guy sit for 10 minutes. Let's wear out this pup while we wait.
Wow! Go, Bobby! And the winter car camping season starts. Right, Bob? Come here! Are you guys a winter or a summer person? I personally am a winter gal, you know? The snow, kind of a thing, mate. Snow makes me so happy, you guys. Like sitting in 100 degree heat this summer, this is what I dreamed of. I was just like, I cannot freaking wait till I'm in the snowstorms in the middle of the winter. This makes my little Michigan heart so happy. And this kid too. Come on. All right, kid, it's time for bed. Drop. I know, that's not what you want, but I have a surprise for you later anyways, so you're going to be fine. Also, my boots are not waterproof, <laughs> so that was smart of me. Hop up. Good boy, lay down. Good boy. It is coming down. I didn't think we were getting that big of a storm, but it's whiteout conditions. Wow. I'm just running the car for a little bit to trap some heat in here. All right, biscuits and gravy. I, I don't know that I've ever had biscuits and gravy. Probably. Probably. Not that I remember though. So let's see what this camping meal is like. Look at that though. Holy cow. Cheers. This is good. Holy cow. Yeah, did you hear the party was up up front? Come up, lay down. <laughs> yeah, you gotta patrol this food, do ya? You are so cute. Luxury. <laughs> We're doing stuff different tonight. It's fun. Look. Oh, good boy. Wow, you got hops. Lay down. You want to come up? But I have something for you. It's not only a bougie night for me, it's a bougie night for Blue. I got him, I don't know, a bougie ham bone. No. Bobby, I have to open the package so you can have it. You can't eat it with the plastic on it. Dang, this thing's intense. There you go, kid. I just realized now he's gonna be chomping all night. And it's kind of counterproductive to what I wanted to do, but oh well. We are Team Happy Blue here on Roaming Reckless, so that's all that really matters. I'm gonna see if I can't connect to the Walmart Wi-Fi because it's actually usually pretty strong for me. It, just for me, not for anyone else. Why did I say it like that? Score. The Wi-Fi connects from here and it seems to be pretty quick, which is what I wanted to do. So, so if you guys watch this channel a lot, you know I'm constantly on the road, constantly traveling, and I work like non-stop. Like I am always doing something. And even when it comes time to relax, I just don't really... 
ever like veg out pretty hard for me to like totally disengage and relax because I feel like sometimes even when I do relax I'm just constantly thinking about stuff I want to get done but in an effort to curb this burnout and actually just try to relax for a night I'm gonna watch Netflix so and this isn't just any Netflix show this is Bridgerton okay and if you if you don't watch Bridgerton you've got to like I don't know what else to say it's the best but especially for me like my all-time favorite movie in the history of all time. Like if I could only ever watch one movie for the rest of my life, it's Pride and Prejudice, written by Jane Austen. I love literature. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I love Bridgerton because it's set back in like the Jane Austen times, but more than anything, the cinematography of Bridgerton is just chef's kiss amazing. Like I feel inspired watching Bridgerton, honestly. I also got candies for the occasion that are sugar-free, made with stevia extract because I've been reading articles about how bad sugar is for you. <laughs> so we're still being a little bit healthy while we're luxury car camping. Kate Sharma, my favorite character. Anthony Bridgerton. You know what, I'm not gonna ruin anything because what if you wanna watch it? I'm not gonna ruin it. But all I'm gonna say is I'm Kate Sharma and I refuse to date somebody unless they're like Anthony Bridgerton. If you watch the show, you would know why. Oh, I love them. He loves her so much. This is good. I'm not, I don't even miss the sugar. I also love him because this character is really angry and I love angry people. Not like anger problems, but just like feisty, you know? We're trying the peanut butter cups now. Bridgerton! This is season two, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but season two is better than season one. These are I. Not that great. Look at them! You'd actually have to watch this entire second then season of Bridgerton no to understand why that dance was such a big deal. But oh my gosh. This is my fifth time watching this episode alone and it just never gets old. Also, it's been almost a full hour and Blue is still going down on his bone. Proud of you, pup. That's dedication. Now I gotta brush my teeth. What the heck? The corners of Blue's mouth are like entirely swollen from that bone. Yikes, do you guys see that? Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to... Like this entire ball right here, do you see that? Poor kid. Well, I guess we won't get that kind of bone again. I think he literally just like rubbed the sides of his jaws raw. Yikes. Well, another thing to keep an eye on. This kid can't catch a break. I took the rest of his bone away because obviously it's swelling his face up. I switched to the office to fall asleep too. I don't know if it's gonna load or not though. Whatever's going on outside, it's picking up. So that's uh that's fun. I'm probably just gonna crash to the office and let it play. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I have to have something going on for me to fall asleep. Like I can't fall asleep to no noise or it just takes me a long time so I always like it to be listening to something or watching something I guess this noise from the storm would probably work too but
It doesn't look like anything's going on outside. But it's noisy, whatever it is. Apparently we're in a winter storm morning again, so I guess that would explain the noise and the heavy snow. Fun! That was unexpected. Oh, yeah. All day tomorrow, too. Wow. I'm gonna try to just fall asleep to some TV in this lovely winter storm morning in this <laughs> okay but keep your ham bone breath to yourself try to catch some sleep <laughs> That was not a great night's sleep. It was very chilly. Very chilly. I feel like chilled to the bone right now. Go potty! The snowplow did that next to me at like 5 in the morning. Go potty, bub! Good boy. Up, up. Ooh, what a beautiful morning. I was gonna get out and make coffee this morning, but I don't have it in me. I'm so cold and I just didn't sleep well. I'm, like, I'm a tad crabby. I can just, I feel it coming, so. I'm gonna go run through somewhere and grab coffee. Before the crabbiness gets out of control. <laughs> okay. Do you want a treat? Sure. Thank you. The paws are huge. Yeah. Is he still puppy? No, he's seven. Oh. He's an old man, though. Hi. I know. I know. He does not love seven. Oh. He's still actually ongoing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you got that puppy thing. Aww. He appreciates that. <laughs> Thank you. Pepper Lou. You look young. What a beautiful thing. I thought you were a puppy. Oh my gosh, this is kind of intense with cream.